Hello and welcome to part 3 of the video series video editing in Python using MoviePy. In previous parts we actually in, in part 2 basically we actually discussed uh, resizing a video setting audio of one video clip to another video and more importantly how to combine different uh, video clips together in several different ways. We saw concatenate clips, we saw array uh, clip array and we saw most powerful thing which is the composite video file. In this particular, um, in this particular um, uh, part, we are basically going to build a custom uh, animation GIF file, um, and we will be using Matplotlib to make a sequence of plots, and then finally we will uh, save that sequence of frames as as a GIF file. So let's dive in and see how MoviePy helps us uh, doing so. So this is our uh, last. Um, file the file so far let me make it part 3 um, part 3 so part 3 uh, let's import certain packages that we really need let's import for example um, movie um, so from movie by dot editor uh, import star import star uh, we also need numpy and matplotlib in this particular um, part so import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import numpy as np and one thing that we need is uh, the figure to numpy image uh, and that is there in MoviePy. We, we really need to save the figure, matplotlib figure as uh, an image. And for that, there is a package. There is a module here in MoviePy, moviepy.video dot io dot bindings. Uh, from there, import basically MPL, matplotlib figure to numpy image so these are the necessary packages that we really want uh, so let's import those next what we do is we define a function that actually gives us a frame for every time for every time uh, for every time um, limit for every time instant so there are certain time instants uh, for every time instant we need a particular figure to be uh, saved as a frame so let's let's do some plotting here. Uh, x is equal to let's say np dot space. Let's generate some uh, x axis data. Uh, let's generate thirty points. Uh, let's also set the duration of the total video or GIF file. Let's set the duration uh, as let's say ten. That's the duration, and also let's set um, let's set um, figure x ax as plt dot subplots so that is something that we really uh, we will be needing those kind of things again and again so what we do next is um, what we do next is we define a function let me call that function as make frame that for every time instant actually uh, it plots it it actually make a figure and that figure will be required um, subsequently to make a frame uh, to make an animation so let's define define a function any name let's say make frame that's the function name and it receive an argument time and for that time we really need um, some of the uh, some of the uh, some plot to appear so let's do let's make x2 as uh, x uh, from starting to from starting to int let's say three times t uh, just pick the um, pick these many uh, these many data points x let's set ax dot clear and ax dot plot uh, let's set y value y is let's say 
uh, np dot sign uh, x two square plus np dot sign x two plus let's say um, two steric np dot pi slash duration whatever the duration we have set um, steric t let's say that's our y value and that's x2 is our x value and that's our y value so what we do next is uh, we plot ax dot plot x2 y and um, then we set certain properties let's say the marker is this is our marker we set the marker size as marker size as um, dynamic let's say 300 slash that changes with time so let's set that as um, 5 static t plus 1 so the marker size will, will change uh, with, with, with time and let's set also the color as dynamic again so color is uh, a tuple np dot random dot rand and np dot random dot rand um, and then np uh, maybe we go to next line np dot random dot rand so that's our color so that's our uh, plot which actually does a scatter plot with this marker of this size let's do the same kind of plot again uh, which is a line plot a continuous plot and there we will actually be giving um, rather than marker we will not be specifying marker rather we will be specifying a uh, line width uh, which is so dynamic again so let's have a line width of um, let's say 15 divided by um, 2 steric 2 steric t plus 1 so that's the line width so what happens basically is at the very beginning the the markers and the line they will be thicker and as the number of points uh, I am sampling some of the points at every time as the number of points will increase the marker size and the line width they will decrease with with time so that's uh, our plot next what we do is we set some uh, limits axis limits y limit let's set the y limit as a go from minus um, let's say minus 2 to 3 let's say that's our y limit and let's set the x limit as x limit as let's say go to from minus 2 to 2 yeah so I guess all set now let's return the image as MPL fig to npy image and that's figure so yeah after doing that that's our function that actually will receive uh, a time instant and at that time instant it will make a, an image and will return that image uh, that depends upon the time instant so let's run this if everything is okay that should be yeah so next what we do is we make uh, an animation so let's say animation a and m animation as video clip so this is video clip rather than video file clip and here we will set the name of the function that we really want to call and we'll set the duration um, the duration is the duration we actually have so what that will do is it will make an animation for us um, it will call the function make frame for this kind of duration uh, every time instant it will receive a frame and it will save that frame here so let's see if it works yeah so next uh, either we can display that animation uh, inline in Python uh, using IPython display or what we can have is uh, we can we can either display in Python or we can save that uh, using uh, using a GIF uh, uh, using a GIF writer so let's let's first display that animation uh, a and m dot ipython display um, we have to set the frame per seconds let's say frame per seconds are 30 uh, loop uh, is true which means it should continue 
displaying this and autoplay uh, so it starts automatically so yeah so it will render this animation and later on we will we will actually save that animation as a gif file as well so yeah so it is uh, still working it is rendering that uh, as you know the rendering normally happens at the very last moment so yeah it's it's about to finish yeah 99% yeah so this is um this is the animation if you see um that it generates at the at the beginning the marker size are bigger and as we move on the markers they bec they become smaller in size and yeah and by the way we can have these uh, um, we can have these uh, so if you see this animation we can have this animation on different images for example if we have a video clip and we want our video clip uh, to to be a video clip for every frame of that video clip if you want an animation so there is a function clip dot um, th that um, uh, fl image fl underscore image for that image uh, for clip dot uh, fl underscore image that function basically um, basically gives gives a per frame every frame in a, in another function and in that function you can actually receive that image that's a numpy image numpy matrix numpy array and you can do whatever you want for that particular image maybe you want to plot on top of that image and you return that animation back if you really want that um, so yeah so next what we do is we actually save this animation as as a gif file on on our hard disk and see that gif file so let's save that so anm animation dot write write gif uh, here we have to set uh, first the name of the gif so let's have this uh, where we are saving saving all these files uh, um, so yeah i have path i guess on the top here so uh, let's copy it from there and paste it like here so first we give the path of the file so let's animation dot rather than mp4 we have to write that gif gif and then we have to set the frames per second uh, no matter what so let's set the frame per second as 30 so it will now it will now save this gif animation on the hard disk and later on we can use that gif animation in our presentations wherever we really want so it is taking a few seconds so let's wait for it it's, it's rendering that as you know all the clips um, they are rendered finally when we save that to to the hard disk or whether we render that we we want to display that in notebook or wherever so i guess that's it that's done um yeah that's done so now let's see that let's see um let's see that video file somewhere here widths and we have that um gif that's the gif um photos let's see so that's the GIF file. Yeah, cool. So now you can save that and do whatever. Okay, so that's the that's the um, that's the um, uh, th that's about MoviePie. Uh, the three parts. Obviously, we can have a full course on that. Um, I mean, it's it's huge. It has a lot of other functions to. I really will suggest you to go to Zulco GitHub, uh, zulco.github.io slash moviepy to get a very, uh, and, and go through the documentation, go through the gallery, go through the example scripts and get most out of this uh, moviepy. 
Um, so in, in this particular video series, we discuss some of the most uh, basics and some of the most useful forms. We In the first part, we discussed the to, to get familiar with MoviePie. And in the second part, we discussed basically to how to combine different video clips and playing with audio. And in this particular part, we discussed how to make custom animations or GIFs using Matplotlib. So if you like our content, uh, please press the like button, subscribe our channel and share uh, with your friends. Uh, hope to see you next time.